YouTube, what's going on? It's professional Madden player T. Davis. And if you guys ever wondered what shotgun runs beat what certain meta defenses, how do you decipher between a hatback draw compared to an inside zone, power O, sweep, etc.? All these things I'm going to break down in today's video. This video will be very knowledgeable and almost like a tutorial on what to look for in each defense and how you can audible and switch around to different runs in order to beat these certain defenses. This tip can be universally found in any playbook. It can work in any year of Madden. I've been running this, these concepts uh, for the last four or five years in Madden. So it's something that we can look forward to in Madden 21, which is only a few months away, not just for Madden 20. You can use this in the future uh, for your gain on offense. Make sure you guys watch this video to the end because I think you're gonna see that all these runs play a factor and all can be successful and beneficial within your offense if you wanna stay balanced. Please make sure to like this video as well. It helps me in the algorithm so I can produce more content for you guys, more tips, more pro player gameplays, free ebooks, free mini schemes. We have it all here on the channel and Madden 21 is gonna get even bigger and better. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well down below. Hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with all this content. As also follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram. I also play live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. So if you want to watch a pro player play live, check that out as well. And I also have coaching sessions now available. They've been super hot. Prices are low. We have 30-minute and 60-minute sessions. So check out the coaching sessions. We're going to have those in Madden 21 as well. We have all types of content on the way. Make sure you guys are checking it all out. But let's get into the video, guys. What's going on YouTube? So today's video, we're just breaking down a little tactic that utilizes inside zones versus bases versus draws versus power O's. All these shotgun runs you want to go to when you see certain defenses, when you see certain meta defenses. There's all different ways to run these uh, different types of runs, and it's a strategy involved in it. So I wanted to break that down. I don't think a lot of people know about this type of stuff, so I wanted to break all that down in this video here. We're going to start with the halfback draw. Now, with the hatback draw I've been running the last few years, one of my favorite runs in the game, and you always want to run it when you see a 4D line set. So here we see the nickel 245. I love it versus nickel 245, nickel normal, uh, you know, all types of 4D line sets, big nickel over G, anything where there's 4D lines. So what's going to happen basically is these defensive ends or outside linebackers, in this case in the 245, are going to kind of collapse to the outside. It's going to make a huge hole up the middle. So we're basically going to have a 3-on-2 with our linemen, blocking their two defensive tackles and if you have some user skill ability you have some good stick skills you can get you we have the man advantage so then you just kind of make some moves once we hand it off boom you cut up field follow our blocks and it's a huge hole up the middle so and sometimes you can even cut it to the outside but mainly those defensive ends are going to kind of engage to the outside they're going to collapse and the and the, we're gonna just going to take it right up the middle and that's when i love to go to this halfback draw especially out of bunch but it's also good out of things like trips tight end. Uh, any any shotgun usually has a halfback draw. So when you see something like nickel, big nickel, nickel normal, nickel two four five, that's when you want to hit them with this draw um, and get up the field for an easy gain. And that's the first way we like to run halfback draw. All right, guys. So the next run is going to be inside zone, and I love to go to inside zone when you see something like dollar three two six, big dime two three two six. Anything, or even nickel 335, anything where you see a 3D line set, but they're kind of spread out. As you can see here, we have plenty of space up the middle. This Trey Y Flex inside zone is one of the best in Madden 20. I love it. Uh, Trey Y Flex is good in general. I also dropped a mini scheme out of Trey Y Flex. If you want to check that out, I'll post that in the link in the description below. But this inside zone, you can, but you can run inside zone out of any formation versus, versus something like a, a $1.326. I like it out of Trey Y Flex, like I said. I like it out of Trips Tight End. Even something like Gun Doubles. These inside zones are super good. They're just a quick handoff. You're going to have all that blocking. It's just a straight straight ahead type blocking. One on one, everyone picks up their man. And uh, when you see something like Dollar, you're even going to have extra guys. We're going to double team that center. And then you kind of sometimes can follow a guard up the middle even more. So we'll go ahead and run it here one more time. But once again, I just love inside zone versus something like a Dollar 326, a Nickel 335. Or a big dime two three six something where there's just three defensive linemen and they're spread out. Next on the list is going to be halfback base or any type of power O's from like a three receiver uh, personnel. So I love that stuff. These versus big dime one four six anything like and big dime one four six is free all the time. It's one of the meta formations. But anything where we have a lot of defense on the defensive backs on the field that are all kind of blitzing up the middle, but following this pulling guard as you'll see here, is going to make a huge dividend in our plays. I also love it out of like single back doubles power O. I go to that a lot when I'm running West Coast. 
those these type of runs are going to be great versus one four six because the you know you're going to kind of fall your little your pulling guard. You're just going to kind of hesitate for a second. As I'll show you right here as I run it, we're going to hike it. We're going to kind of hesitate one two. Wait to see where our guard blocks, and then boom, we're going to have another guard up the field for a huge uh, game. So I'm going to show you guys in this replay what I'm talking about with this hesitation. And you see that in real life with a guy like Le'Veon Bell. He kind of does this, you know, on these pulling guard plays. He kind of hesitates. As you'll see, I'll hike it right here. And then we're going to go pause, wait, and then boom, we're off to the outside after this guy completely picks him up right here. So we're just kind of waiting for this guard to pull over. And then it's going to pick up that empty man, and then he's going to run up the field. So we're going to have an advantage here. As long as he picks up that guy he's supposed to, then we're off to the races. So I really just love power O's and hatback bases versus this big dime 146. All right, guys, the final play is going to be any hatback off tackles or hatback sweeps. And they're going to be against any 3-4 pinch defenses. So, you know, we see a lot. 3-4 pinch, uh, pinch buck zero. We see 3-4 bear, 3-4 even, 3-4 uh, odd, you know, cover four show blitz everyone. These these defenses are super uh, popular. You see them a lot in mud and weekend league. So versus those type of looks, we want these off-tackle sweep runs. And we're just going to kind of get to the outside and follow our blocks. We're going to have tons of space. And usually it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one just like that with one of the defensive backs. And, you know, in real life and in Madden, you always want to have a one-on-one -on -one with defensive back with, the, with, your, with your elite running back. That's always a win for us. So you're just kind of waiting to get to the outside with this pinch defense. As you can see, that's the goal here because all the, the linebackers are kind of pinched in. They're, everyone's crowded to the inside. So if we can kind of just escape with this little sweep or off tackle, get to the outside, we're going to have a huge hole all, out there. And using our speed, a guy like Le'Veon Bell who can spin, who can truck, and stiff arm. So... One more time here, we're just when you see this pinch defense in like that, boom, get to the outside as fast as possible. Even something like a jet touch pass, jet sweep will also work. But that's the goal here. Just get to the outside, get away from those pinch linebackers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We just broke down every way to run all the shotgun runs versus different meta popular defenses. It's just a little tactic you guys can use to stay balanced on offense so you're running and passing. And so you know what to go to when you see these popular defenses. You know, what kind of runs can you go to when you're in a bind, you need to run some clock, or you're struggling pass, you need to run the ball. These are the different runs you can go to versus different sets, and now you can feel comfortable on offense. Make sure you guys go ahead and like this video. Please comment down below your thoughts. What are the tips you want to see me break down for you guys? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate all you guys' support as we head into Madden 21. Till next time, I'm out.